there's no name to this show, so how do you actually introduce the show? There's a channel name. But wouldn't that be like every time you watch a show on Cartoon Network, they introduce it as Cartoon Network? I guess that's true. I don't know. We'll think of one later. Okay. This, well, this, this is Babe Kyle. And this is Babe okay. Jesse. Should just be Babe. Yeah, we'll call, that, that would be the, the official channel name. Babe, Babe. But it's actually called Hard Reset Gaming. Okay, so we have to redo the first part. I think we gotta get that out of the way. Because this might feel slightly forced. Just a yeah, bit. just a little bit. But I'm playing this time. Yep, you're playing. I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna watch. Uh, so this will be done in five minutes, because I'm an expert. That's actually Prove it, prove it. I was cool. enjoying the level, and you're just... You're about efficiency in a game where... I guess it's about efficiency. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, there are people who speed... I watch Twitch, people speed run this all the time. And Crash Bandicoot, it's like one of the more popular... I can only stomach to watch Mario because I'm a Resident Evil speedrunner. Okay, Mario so. 64 is like m muscle memory is to it? the max. Resident Evil is kind of this no, but just watch somebody do Rainbow Road on a 120 All Star speedrun. I don't know what that means. Yeah, well. 120 Star means he's doing 100% of the game. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, so I feel like we have favorite game, definitely in my top ten. Top th five for me. Uh, I try to play it every year. I don't because I'm bad, but yeah. I just bought the rare collection, so. This isn't on the rare collection. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. My this what, what we're physically playing right now. No, what we're physically playing right now is not on the rare collection, but. <clears throat> I see Thank you, you, Alex. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Oh, I'm the third man in this video. I wanted to repeat the. I remember the story I wanted to share. Uh, you and me. Was me and yesterday you. Yep. At the GameStop. Yep, a few days ago. And the fucking clerk. What about him? Well, I bought a, a vinyl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I put when he it on harassed desk, you about yeah! he harassed you about Pokemon Sun and Moon. I put it on his desk, ready to check out. I was like, he's, he was very charismatic, I guess. But he's like, so you guys pre-order Pokemon Sun and Moon? You guys here to pick up your copy? It's like 8 o'clock at night and he's yelling at us about showing up at midnight. I had to break his heart and tell him that I ordered it. My copy at the other mall on the other side of the street. <clears throat> he was not happy. Yeah. I just, I think I lied and said, no, you got mine there too. Which yeah. I didn't. But uh, I didn't want to make the guy upset. He's like, cool, cool. He's like, how can I help you? I was like, just the record, please. And he's like, oh, rad. <sighs> well, he was in go mode. He was. He I was ready. People were ready. They for had to game. entertain nine-year-olds playing the TCG all night up until, or nobody should, could show up, yeah. and they set up the shop for nothing, and they would be really upset. And there were some tables there. Like everything, yep. everything was pushed to they the side. They didn't even decorate it. It was pretty shabby. I would decorate. To, you would decorate. It's a it's a party. It's a three-hour party. Uh, I'm in the cutscene. <laughs> He's ruining it. <laughs> He's making it so hard. It's okay. We're not, we haven't started yet. We're just shooting shit. Get ready for the greatest game. Still to this day, have not beaten Tui. I don't think anyone. I has. think we're we're gonna beat Tui. You and me? Yeah, we're gonna beat Tui. All right. Some of this, uh... We should just do collectathons from the '90s. All of them. Donkey Kong. Because I've played like two. Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tui. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can we do Dak and Jexter? Does that count as a 90s? No, but it's a collectathon. True. Would you consider Jack 2 and 3 collectathons, or were they more Grand Theft Auto? They tried competing with Grand Theft Auto. Really? And they were okay games. I like them, but you could see where Ratchet and Clank soared past them in popularity and kind of stayed, you know. If you play a Jack and Daxter, you know, you play Jack and Daxter 3 now, you're like, this is just as bad as Grand Theft Auto 1. Really? Yeah, the mechanics, like, mechanic Is that why they stopped making them? They stopped making, I think, honestly, because they tried competing with Grand Theft Auto is the reason why the games didn't sell that great, because they just started making all these shitty, you know, spinoffs. The Daxter game on the PSP, the racing games that were pretty subpar. I mean... Huh. Well, I guess I only played the first one, and I... I don't think I beat that one. Oh, wrong one. Oh, you're so lovely. We're just smoking. You make me want to smoke. I know. Is it because we have Iron Force and afterwards you need to smoke? Yes. That's what I thought. 
Especially when I'm thinking about Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yeah, that beak. <laughs> I think about bottles, to be honest. He's such a fucking. You might want to move your knee. I might ash on your knee. That would not be good. Uh, I don't want to set okay. your work pants on fire. Uh, oh, good point. Good point. So we should probably actually talk about the game. Yes. Okay. Do we have to? I mean, we should like you know some people. It's been how long? When did this game come out? Ninety-eight. Yeah, like I that. think we've talked about it. You thought it was much earlier. I thought it was. 96. I looked it up. I want to say it's. I want to say it was the same year as Resident Evil, but I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna well, just to reaffirm. I'm gonna pull it up because okay. I, just for my own Sounds curiosity, good. Banjo, Kazooie, release date. I'm gonna go with Alex. I'm gonna say 98. I'm gonna say a few months after Ocarina. Really. Or was Ocarina in the later part is of the year? I Ocarina feel like Ocarina was like November. No, is it? No, it's. I mean, you can consider it a collectathon. There's Skulltulas. They have no bearing on. Though they do have bearing on the story. It came out Jul June 29th, 1998. I missed the jump. So June, halfway through the year. Let's do Ocarina. Ocarina. I guess you could consider it a collectathon, but not in the sense of Mario 64. So, so, sorry to the peeps out there. I don't play Zelda. No, he doesn't play Zelda. He thinks that because he's too old, it would not be. Well, Beneficial. I, I, I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree with that. People appreciate it in the time, so I don't want to play it now because I might, I might be like, this is You have grand. to remember, adults played it back then, though. Like, not just kids were playing but it. The November standard... 22nd. So Banjo came out before Ocarina. And it's better. I mean... I mean, they're kind of too different to really I compare. I'm just, I'm just fucking... But no, but that was, like, that was the high standard back then. Nowadays, Ocarina ain't... I could do no, but if you music. like, but if you like Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie is more basic than Ocarina is in terms of like overall basic. function. Yeah, and I think you'd like Ocarina. I think you just have to give it a chance. I, I will. So on this, it's not my favorite Zelda. This. It's not my what favorite, is your favorite Zelda. Zelda. Wind Waker. Is that the artsy fartsy one? That is the cell shaded one that came out on the GameCube with, with the, the boat. With the water. Okay, yeah. With the water. Yep. So it's too that much. is a collectathon actually. The original one is very close to a collectathon. I'm not going to say there are any... We're not praising collectathons, by the way. We just like them. Uh, we are praising collectathons, oh. but I would not call Zelda as a whole a collectathon. There are just mini games. I, I, okay. Not okay. mini games, side quests where you can collect everything in the game. I mean, they've got heart pieces, Boom. they've got Skulltulas, Let's they've got... It. We did it. We did it. We, we beat the it. level. We beat the level. We beat it now. Actually, can't you just leave without getting any of them? That's not the point. Oh, yeah. How are you like supposed to get that 100% at the end? That's the important oh, we're, part. Are we, we're, 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 real talk, we're 100%? I don't think a 100% is... It's not possible. It, I've done it once in my life in this No, game. I'm just saying, I think when you're doing a Let's Play, the last thing you want to do is a 100%. Is this, is this officially... Get me out of here. I don't know why you tried jumping up there. Well, because I thought you could make it. How about you get off my back? How about you get to the next level? You're done here. You went around the long way to actually get to the... You're gonna get attacked by that cauliflower. He's gonna shit. No, he's not. He just gave up on you. Oh. I just, I, I'm just... I was staring at you the last 30 seconds in anger, so I just jumped and pecked. I hope I... I, I... Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> now you're walking into a wall because you're too angry. This is what I happens am. when you get mad. Yeah, I, well, I don't get mad at games, except Dark Souls once. That doesn't count. Oh my god. So not 100%? Because... I don't think it's worth it. Spoiler alert, this, we're filming this one before we do basically part four. Yeah. So we're already done with Mumbo's Mountain. I'm pretty sure we got everything there. We got everything in Mumbo's Mountain. I think you could... You could 100%. This game's not hard to 100%. And I, in this game, cannot leave a level without 100%ing. But like d games like Donkey Kong 64... Where it's not almost like regimented that you do it. Donkey Kong 64 is like you're backtracking constantly. Oh, I don't, you like don't games like that. You don't backtrack in this game. You don't have to go to one level to get a move to come back to another level to complete it. Does Mario do that? 16, I 64? Like... I don't think so. Okay, maybe I'm it's been a long Mario time since I've actually played it. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> it's gonna be our staple. It's gonna be the staple, thank you, you Alex. You have to breathe him each time just so he can spew. <laughs> Game knowledge on us and just thank you, Alex. Well, we're we're just about as far as we were. Yeah. God, I think we did that faster than ten minutes. You think so? Well, I am pretty. pretty I good I at this. take my time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just let you play then. Well, no, babe. No, I like 
watching you play. I like watching you sleep, but that's besides the point. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so I guess I guess we gotta end this one. All right, we're done. There's Grunty. Beautiful. Beautiful pause screen. We love you all. Good night. Why?